Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching the first two episodes of The Acolyte, created by Leslie Headland and starring Aman Amanda Stenberg and Lee jung -jae. Now, The Acolyte is actually pretty interesting when it comes to its uh, version of, these, of Star Wars, especially considering that it's taking place a hundred years before the events of The Phantom Menace, so it's in the High Republic era. And it's also being done with a lot of the expanded lore that were that was previously part of the Star Wars Expanded Universe that we thought was pretty much done for at this point. Well, let's get to the story, shall we? The story follows May and o Osha, both played by Amanda Stenberg, who are twin sisters who have taken on different paths at this point in time. Osha has become a mechanic working for the Republic, whereas May has become an assassin working for a mysterious master who's been trying to kill various Jedi throughout the galaxy. The first one she kills is played by Carrie Ann Moss, and she's basically Jedi Trinity. So after May's murders are made are made public, the Jedi initially believe that Osha is the one behind the murders, especially because Osha initially believed that her sister died following an event involving her and her master Soul, played by Lee Jung Jae from Squid Game. So Master Soul decides to investigate the, the, these various incidents, and he decides to find out uh, why May is doing this, which other Jedi are going to be targeted, and ultimately to find out who trained her and who's causing the, these uh, matters of the dark side to happen in the first place. So yeah, the first two episodes basically set up that mystery while also giving us a few good martial arts fights, because the thing with an acolyte is that May's master has told her to kill one of the Jedi without using a weapon. May usually uses knives and the occasional poison to her advantage, but she actually does manage to use some martial arts techniques as well. And martial arts is something we don't usually see in a lot of Star Wars fights, so that does help the action scenes stand out for the first few episodes. Especially considering that Lee Jung Jae and Carrie Ann Moss naturally perform well in those scenes. Not that there was a ton a ton of a martial arts fighting in Squid Game, but Lee Jung Jae clearly knows his stuff regarding the fight scenes here, as well as he manages to, you know, get English down pretty well, since this is the first role where he's had, where he's has to speak English through all of it. I think it's he, it's done pretty well, even this, if this is a totally different show from Squid Game that he's doing. And Amanda Stenberg manages to deliver a pretty good dual performance as both Osha and May, and you can definitely tell that she that portraying one of these characters, let alone two, would be taxing on someone, but she happens to do so very well. I didn't expect this kind of versatility from her when she played Rue from The Hunger Games, you know? Other than that, I do think that the vibes could be a bit off to some people, and the dialogue could be, you know, a, <laughs> about as a, in need of a rewrite as some of the other Star Wars shows, but at the same time, I do think it has an interesting enough premise to make me want to continue going on for the, for, for the last six episodes. I don't want to go after it immediately, as some people on the internet already have, but it's clear to see that there's a lot of good and bad in this show, so I'll just see how it goes throughout the next few episodes. See you next time.